Hi, I'm Erica Naone. I'm an IT editor at Technology Review, and I'm here to talk about HP's Touchpad, which is the first tablet device to run HP's WebOS operating system. WebOS is probably the reason that HP acquired Palm. It's an operating system for mobile devices that uses web technologies and integrates with a cloud so you can easily transfer your information across multiple devices. Uh, HP has been looking to get into this game since desktop sales are dropping off and the iPad is obviously very popular. And uh, we'll take a look at the touchpad and how well it fulfills that vision. So the touchpad is similar to Apple's iPad, both in price and appearance. Um, it feels heavier than the iPad, but otherwise it is similar size, um, has a similar type of control like the iPad, it just has one button down here uh, and the rest of it is done through touch. Um, just to take a look at the interface, some of the strengths of WebOS are supposed to be that it has true multitasking. So right now I have several applications open on the touchpad at the same time. Um, I have a Facebook application built by Palm or by HP. I have um, Adobe Reader, I have a Maps application, they're all running and it's very easy for me to switch between them. Um, I can decide to make, uh, to go into the Maps application and it pops up large and then if I want to see all the applications that are running I can come back to this view. To close something I just throw it off the screen. So HP's done a lot of work to try to make this um, multitasking interface intuitive. Um, they also have uh, an app that they built with uh, Facebook that uses some of the operating system's features to make a smooth experience navigating it. I can slide um, in and out of different views. Um, I can expand things by, by moving them. And this is a demonstration for how the apps can work on the device. HP has built an app store where you can get applications for WebOS there are applications already built for smartphones, and there are a few built specifically for the tablet. You can visit the App Store directly from the device, and it will recommend featured apps and offer you both paid and free apps that you can download. However, it doesn't have as many apps as Apple does. Um, there are some apps here that were built for WebOS smartphones, and there are about 300 that were built for the tablet, but that's many fewer than the 2000 that the iPad launched with. One thing to remember about WebOS is that it was always meant to run across multiple devices. Um, a single WebOS device can tell you some things, but in many ways they're meant to work in tandem. When HP launched these, they launched the touchpad at the same time that they announced the Veer and the Pre, and they spent time then demonstrating how the devices could interact. If I had a Pre here right now, one of the benefits would be that I could open a web page and transfer that web page directly to the Pre just by touching it to the touchpad. So they've done a lot of things to integrate. There's some other evidence of the need for integration scattered throughout the device. For example, if you go into the uh, app that allows you to do phone and video calls, you can see that the touchpad comes with the ability to add a Skype account and make phone calls from the device, um, but it also suggests that you have a WebOS smartphone and if you do, you can transfer, you can use the touchpad to make calls on the smartphone, you can transfer text messages to and from, you can send an alert to one device and respond to it on another. So again, that emphasizes that you really want multiple devices. To use the tablet, you have to have a WebOS account. That is something that you create that really gets its value from multiple devices. It allows me to store information in the cloud that I could then access from another device or that I could use to transfer from one to another. HP has said it plans to spread WebOS across um, tablets, smartphones, desktop computers, and printers. If it does that, WebOS will really be different from some of the other platforms that are out there because Apple and Android don't run consistently across that broadest spectrum of devices. The touchpad's success could depend on whether HP manages to sell people on WebOS. And to do that, we're going to need to see WebOS operating at its full potential before people dismiss this device as an also-ran.